With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside M&T Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Carolina Panthers and the Baltimore Ravens. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Murray flushed out right he's going to take off with it opted to run for it the decision a good one picking up the first getting 14 yards on the scramble partner he was going through his progressions not there not there after about the third one he decided he better pull it down and run for it and he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure so from the 39 now they'll come up on a first and 10 out of the gun here's Murray this one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So in Raven territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 43. From the gun, Murray. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Murray with a third and long. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. This is taken around the 12. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And the Ravens will get it. First and 10 from deep in their own territory. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And they finally are able to take him down at the opposite 47. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just saw receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Hey, 
So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top 10. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might well go ahead and run it anyway, because that's your strength. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Brings up third and five. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Here's a quick throw out left. It's complete. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get ten here. First and goal from just inside the five. They'll run with Dobbins. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Well, every now and then, we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. And this is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. Carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Wore down defenses and able to break big runs late in games. J.K. Dobbins going to Baltimore, an absolute perfect fit. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Play clock down to two, and we get a signal and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try to run with Dobbins. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. And did he break the play? Man, yes, he did. Touchdown. J.K. Dobbins with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. Seven Ravens seven. seven. Panthers nothing. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two? Win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. And once again, they stop him behind the line. Great job by this Ravens defense. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Murray going to 
to try to throw on third down. Flush to his right. And he finds a man. It's McCaffrey. And they finally bring him down, but he reaches the 16. A big third down play there for the Panthers. 52 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Polluting the pressure right. And that is incomplete here. Murray on the keeper. Incomplete on the throwaway. Brings up second and ten. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. to throw again second and ten this is Anderson over the middle and the Panthers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three yard line after one seven nothing on EA Sports tying up this game it's up and good and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two Harrison Butker is set to kick so I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away the Ravens take over first and ten at their own 25 yard line The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action. They'll throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Now a dump off here complete. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. 
And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. Now they'll have a chance to move out in front. And now look at him go. He's at the 50, 30, the 20. Bring it! Touchdown, Carolina! Christian McCaffrey, 87 yards. And the Panthers have taken the lead. Christian McCaffrey, a, a guy that can beat you in so many ways. He's a threat to go the distance literally every time he touches the football. And this is a play defensively where you're just looking around and saying, what was that? What just happened? You're looking at your teammates. They're looking at you. And let's face it, your defensive coordinator, he's not going to tip his cap to him. That's not how football works but he probably should have after that run. That was absolutely sensational. And yeah, he covered a lot of ground on that one, as evidenced by the final total there on Next Gen Stats. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula? There he goes, left side. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, his second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. So that run there, yeah, I don't know if it's overstating things to call it a thing of beauty, but in terms of football plays, that's as good as you're going to see. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Takes this about five yards deep. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Shotgun now for Murray. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking to get that one to D.J. Moore, but now it's third down. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. Three yards on the punt, seven-yard return, and the Ravens, they'll take over. You call it? We call it, baby. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going, and they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot, he had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Call it a gain of three. And that'll bring up a third down.
Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. On third down, here's Dobbins. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. It's fourth down. This one now in their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Gets it out quickly here to the left flank. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. So on fourth down, they decided to go with a run pass option, a good decision. And the run can get you there but the pass gets you there quicker. Nice decision, picks up a first down. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. No gain on the play there, it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. They go back to the ground with Dobbins. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's got his man here. It's Gary Jennings Jr. And he will have a first down as they're in the field goal range now at the 30. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. So first and 10 now from the 30. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. They get to it back at the 40. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. They'll try the draw here with Dobbins. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. And the Ravens strike first at threes him. And with that last field goal, that puts him now at 300 made on his career. And that is something to celebrate. And that puts him in the top 30 all time. So he's really made a mark. And he's got plenty of life left in that leg, that's for sure. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone. So we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. His second catch, this one not quite as dynamic as his first, and it's second down. Here's Murray. Escaping the pressure right. He's got a man complete. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. 
So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, and ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. At their own 31 yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. Now a play fake here on first down. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. They're going to look to throw, and that'll be complete to Dobbins. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. Down to the 25. Making the tackle there, Corn Elder. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Here's a second and seven. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Trey Boston. And he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll bring up a second and 13. From the gun, Murray. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. Give him 30 yards there. So that one, just a little touch pass, but it paid off quite handsomely. Yeah, and let's face it, the quarterback loves it because it pads his stats as a completed pass for nice yardage downfield. I like the way they get the receiver in motion. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it, he's a big-time guy you have to block. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. That's complete, right around the eight. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They'll give him a dozen on the pitch and catch, but now they're up against a third and goal.
flushed out right. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made him kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. At their own 29-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they wanted. Put it mildly, that is so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in good spot, great place to run some of your best offense. Instead, they turn the ball over. Yeah, turn the ball over last time. See if they can avoid doing it here. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. Not much there, only a yard. And that's how you throw for a whole heap of yards in a game. You get efforts like that from your receivers. How about him laying out for that catch? Yeah, excellent. Makes a quarterback look a whole lot better. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. complete the reception good for seven it's third down I always laugh when people say what's the toughest route to defend and I'm like any of them especially if it's a good receiver that makes things very difficult but when you're running a drag route something short shallow going through defenders using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And he will have a Ravens first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Back now in Baltimore. Well, we had a number of good games in the afternoon sessions, but this Sunday nighter might top them all. We come up here on first and ten. He'll take his shot for the end zone. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Don't stop that. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Three yards the gain there, second down. I like the design of that play, or shall I say, the way it ended up. Quarterback ends up to the right side. You know, he gets outside of the pocket. How about the tight end staying in his sight line and getting to that same part of the field? And they find each other. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Jonathan Allen, the former first-round pick, getting in there to bring him down. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And possession will switch hands first and 10.
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. An option handoff here to Dobbins. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Baltimore, first down. First and 10 at the 33-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31-yard line. The Etor Gross Matos there to bring him down. Brings up second and eight at the 31-yard line. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Another run here with Dobbins. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. him down short maybe by about a yard if that whistles now at a timeout defensively so a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning and here's a big one now try to hold this lead they're gonna go for it here on fourth down Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Now a whistle and a timeout defensively. Trying to stop it, and they do with two seconds to go prior to the two-minute warning. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. On the counter now, it's Dobbins. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. On second down, Dobbins. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Huge play at this point in the game. K1 short pushing through there to make the play defensively. A 44 yard attempt. Oh, 
Tucker's kick is good. And that'll make this a seven-point game. From a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. At their own 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're down here in a one-score game. At the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Well, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. To throw is Murray. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Every penalty so critical at this stage of the game as now they've got it third and long. Back to throw. He's got a man on the crossing route. That's more. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Murray now to throw. Found his target, it's Anderson. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. exciting to the very end that's what we just saw in this game final play there had it in the red zone but when anytime you're outside of the 10 that's tough try to draw up a final play to get in and they couldn't do it it certainly is so what they were looking for was you know extra time too bad it's not fifa soccer right where you get a little bit of extra and you get a chance to run up a couple more plays and maybe get closer and take that last shot into the end zone so for the Ravens, they continue to put themselves in position for a first-round 